After his stellar win at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, Max Verstappen has put himself in position to win his fourth consecutive Formula One title. Verstappen can achieve this already next time out in Las Vegas with two races to spare. In today's GP Fan Special, we dig a little deeper into how the reigning champion can mathematically seal it in Vegas and what exactly he needs to do. Let's get into it. After a frustrating qualifying session and a five-place grid penalty, Max Verstappen started the Sao Paulo Grand Prix from 17th place. Rival Lando Norris, on the other hand, took pole position and it looked like another weekend of damage limitation for Verstappen. It would not turn out like that, however, as Verstappen thrived in the treacherous wet conditions at Interlagos, as the Dutchman was the quickest man on the track and, with a slice of luck with the timing of the red flag, stormed through to win the race by almost 20 seconds. For only the fifth time in over 1100 F1 races, somebody has won from 17th place on the grid or lower. Verstappen took a total of 31 points on the weekend, including the sprint, almost double of Norris Hall of 16, winning the sprint race but only finishing the Grand Prix 6th. This takes Norris up to 331 points in the championship, but Verstappen has streaked ahead by 62 points now. Norris made two crucial errors on Sunday that not only damaged his race win potential, but also the potential of winning his first F1 title. The first error was his start, a chronic problem of Norris where he instantly lost his lead to George Russell. If he could have kept his lead out of the center S's, maybe he could have gapped Verstappen more before his pit stop. The second error was that pit stop, which came on lap 28 under the virtual safety car. Unluckily for both him and Russell though, the VSC ended as soon as they boxed, meaning their time advantage had disappeared. There was a full safety car shortly after and a red flag followed because of the torrential rain and Franco Colapinto's high-impact crash. The red flag gave Verstappen, who had stayed out under the VSC and safety car, a free change of tires at the restart and track position ahead of Norris. With three Grand Prix and one sprint race to go, Verstappen's fourth consecutive title is now well within his reach. After the upcoming Las Vegas Grand Prix, there will only be 60 points left to earn. Two times 25 points for the race winning Qatar and Abu Dhabi, twice the extra point for the fastest lap, and eight points for a sprint race win in Qatar. Should Lando Norris and Max Verstappen finish level on points, Verstappen would have the tiebreaker no matter what, as he has won eight races compared to Norris's three. That means a 60-point lead is enough for Verstappen after the Las Vegas Grand Prix and that means Norris has to gain at least three points in Vegas to take the fight to Qatar. But even if he does, Norris will have to hope Verstappen has two very poor races in the Middle East should he want to stand a chance for a maiden championship. So, what do you think will happen? Does Verstappen take his fourth title in Vegas? Can Norris extend the fight to Qatar? Or do you even think Lando can still come back to win it all? Let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, I bid you farewell. Bye-bye.